Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for June 30th, 2023. So we got a pretty solid uh, week of new arrivals. There's a ton of like high caliber restocks, big MoFi restock, Intervention Records restock. But let me start with a couple of pre-orders that we've got that were just announced. So this week we've got an Aerosmith Greatest Hits box set. They're doing a lot of their catalog re uh, reprints now that they move from Columbia to Capitol Records. But this is a greatest hits that I've never seen on vinyl before. I think it's a new compilation. So they're doing it as a single disc and a double disc. We'll have that as well. But for pre-order, I put up the box set to kind of see what interest is on that. It's a four LP set, 44 tracks. Uh, this next one's pretty cool. It is uh, Beck Bogart, A Priest. This is live in Japan, 1973, and live in London, 1974. Uh, box set that comes out September 15th. The Aerosmith comes out August 18th. So the website's had some uh, updates to it, mainly for international buyers. So I figured I'd tell you guys about that. If you are international, you now have the ability to select your currency so you can shop in your own currency. You also, in some cases, have the ability to select your own language. I think I've got Spanish and German on the website as of now, so you can actually shop in those languages. But the shipping should be cheaper for most people. And not only that, it actually is gonna be, everything is gonna be shipped DHL worldwide expedited. So it's pretty much anywhere in the world in one to three days. So you'll be able to get your packages extremely quick. Not only that, I'm shipping to pretty much every single country. I think there's like 20 countries we don't ship to. Ukraine, Russia, North Korea, a couple of really small island nations. But for the most part, Italy, everywhere in the world we're shipping, places we didn't ship before. And like I said, DHL, Worldwide Express. Also, they handle all the customs. The customs are all now done right on the website directly. So all of your duties, import taxes, VAT, you know, whatever your country is and whatever the taxes are all charged up front at the time of checkout. This way you don't have to do anything when the package reaches, uh, you know, reaches you. I know a lot of countries you've got to go to the post office, you got to pay the tax man. In this case, it's all handled and paid by DHL. So I'm not sure how it's gonna work. It's kind of hard for me to test it, but I'm gonna rely on you guys to look and test it, maybe report back to me. If you're in another country, let me know what you think of the shipping rates. Let me know what you think of uh, you know, the prepaid duties and everything. I did some testing on my end. It looks like Canada, you can get three or four records shipped for like $28, $29. Uh, all the taxes and duties uh, are collected up front. So the shipping looks a lot cheaper, but keep this in mind too. My generic mailer is one pound by itself. So a lot of people think you can ship a record and it weighs a pound. It doesn't. When the mailer itself weighs a pound, then the record is a pound to a pound and 1.2, 1.3 pounds. Then it gets rounded up to three pounds. But with that in mind, check it out. Leave in the uh, comments below what you guys think of it. Again, on the very bottom of the website, you can select your country and currency. That's kind of another thing, too. Shopping in your own currency eliminates a little bit of a credit card fee. Okay, so finally, I want to say this has been on the website as a pre-order for maybe a year and a half, two years. This is uh, Bill Withers. Still Bill. 33 RPM. What's actually cool about this is, you know, I haven't even had a chance to listen to it, but I did open it up, ultrasonically clean it to take it home. Uh, this is two records in a row that it appears to me that MoFi is really upping their jacket game. This has kind of that non-fingerprint soft touch that they're using on a lot of their uh, newer one-step boxes. So the original soft touch, you touched it, got a fingerprint on it, you couldn't wipe it off. You couldn't take it off. There was no chemical. There was no way to get the grease from your fingers out of the jacket. That's on the original one-steps. They switched to this new soft touch, which still has that luxurious feel but it doesn't get nasty looking the minute you touched it. Starting with the Warren Zevon, it looks like that became the same type of soft touch they used on the uh, one steps they used on the Warren Zevon, and now I've noticed it on Still Bill. So at first I thought, well, maybe this was just uh, like a one-time thing. Every now and then they do a little bit nicer, like they did it for the David Crosby. They'll do a little bit nicer of a jacket, but it looks like in general so far, they're upgrading all of their outer jackets. You know, they're still stout and covers, but it's a nicer material. But yeah, 
Steel Bill, if you order this, I think we've almost got all the pre-order shipped. Uh, but if not, we should have them shipped out today, maybe tomorrow at the latest. But yes, yeah, Steel Bill, now shipping. This is out of print, but I got the remainder of my back order from a long time ago because they only made 4,000 of these. That is Miles Davis' uh, Porgy and Best. This is limited to 4,000. This is out of print. I got a couple more copies of this, and that's it. You're not going to find it anymore. Okay, some more Mobile Fidelity restocks. We've got bread. Baby, I'm a want you, which is, I think, the big hit on this album. Yeah. Reprint of Miles Davis's Milestones. God, the Miles Davis stuff, again, I highly recommend it. We got Bitches Brewing stock. I've got Milestones. I've got a few more in here. This, I thought, was uh, out of print and long gone, but it turns out they still had some, and they sent them to me. This is Bob Dylan, self-titled, but this is the mono version. They only made 3,000 of these. This is uh, number 2503. So 45 RPM, uh, because it's limited to 3,000, when the 3,000 are made, that's it. Get the Knack. Limited edition of 3,000 as well. So this isn't something that uh, will keep getting reprinted once they hit the 3,000. This is a phenomenal sounding record. This was recorded uh, digital to begin with. So this was never thought to be an analog record, but this is still probably the best I've ever heard this record. It sounds really good. On the back here, on the little, uh, the little, uh, having a brain fart here, the sparse code that they use. Digital clone of the Sony 1630 U-Matic Digital Master through their analog console to the lathe. But uh, they did a great job with this. 45 RPM Brothers in Arms. I really dig the Dire Straits stuff, though I've talked about it quite a bit. We've got a repressing of Making Movies. Oh, check this out. They've updated all the jackets on the repress. So LP1, I wonder if this is just, I guess maybe they're going to run into a situation where both discs are different. But in this particular case, it actually specifies LP1, quarter inch 30, okay, yes. Yeah, so LP1 is made from a quarter inch 30 IPS analog copy. LP2 is a uh, quarter inch, 30 uh, inch per second analog master. So side one was actually made from a copy. Making movies. I love the transparency. Like, you still want it to sound good, but it is cool to be able to flip over a jacket and kind of find out those details. Alan Parsons, Eye in the Sky. This is hands down the best I've ever heard this record. It sounds unbelievably good. Actually, here it says, Eye in the Sky was originally mixed to both analog tape and the Sony PCM1610 digital system. For this release, the original analog master tape was used. I wonder if that's on the original pressing of this record, or if that's something that was added. I feel like they would have used a sparse code to do it. We've got... Bill Evans, uh, Jim Hall's Undercurrent. Miles Davis is Around About Midnight. Simon and Garfunkel, Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, Thyme, and other assorted herbs, spices. This is uh, not got the sparse code on it yet. Okay, so that is it for the Mobile Fidelity restock. Oh, pretty much all of the in demand. Blue Note Tone Poets have now been repressed with what I'm about to show you. Uh, except for the most desirable, most expensive Tone Poet, which will get repressed, it just hasn't been yet, that is Chet Baker Sings. That's not here. But I do have Bobby Hutcherson's The Kicker. This was a record that was about 150 bucks a couple months ago before it got a repress. They're all in print. They haven't discontinued any of the Tone Poets, but if you don't want to wait and nobody has it, the price starts going up. Price starts going up when the demand gets there and the supply's not there. But uh, that's why the Chet Baker Sings is going over 200 bucks now. But it will get repressed. I don't recommend buying on the secondary market. Sonny Clark, my conception. 
Dexter Gordon's Clubhouse, but I'll, most of these were 75 to 150 bucks on the secondary market because people didn't want to wait. This being one of the more expensive ones, Grant Green's Nigeria, fantastic record. All the Grant Green stuff is phenomenal sounding, musically, sonically, great records. All these are analog, cut by Kevin Gray from the Master Tape. And Stanley Turrentine's Coming Your Way. Okay, that is it for the uh, Tone Poet restocks. Let me show you guys some of the new arrivals. Marianne Faithful, Horses and High Heels. This is a yellow colored disc. Some more. Marianne Faithful, Easy Come, Easy Go. 18 songs for music lovers. Looks like I'm guessing her catalog is getting a reprint. The Hue. Rumble of Thunder, Deluxe Edition. Let me see. Plus the... This is Ivory Vinyl, 2LP set. I've heard these guys quite a few times. These are uh, Mongolian throat singers. Very interesting. If you want to listen to something different, Google this. Watch a concert, watch, uh, watch and listen. It's, it's interesting. Neil Young, everybody knows this is nowhere. Fantastic sounding re record. Again, most of these Neil Youngs are all uh, analog. This has been out of print for quite some time, but it got a repress. A record that they'll make, I'll sell it out immediately, and then we wait another six months to a year for it to come back. But this is the US pressing of Depeche Mode's Violator, which is still under $20. It's amazing to find a record that's under 20 bucks. But there's actually another one in here that's even less money. I thought it was a, I thought it was an error at first, but nope, it's not. Savage Gardens, self-titled record. This is on uh, Sony Music, two LP set. Music on vinyls, Incubus, limited to two thousand numbered copies. If not now, a win. This is number one hundred and sixteen. Kind of has a textured cover. Portugal the Man, this is Evil Friends. We've got Janelle Monet, The Electric Lady. It seems like a lot of her stuff is getting repressed. A lot of her records were like 100 bucks, 150 bucks the last couple of years, but finally getting a repress on her catalog. Lucinda Williams, this is. Stories from a Rock and Roll Heart. We got two versions of these. This is a cobalt blue vinyl. And then this, I guess it is just a standard black vinyl. Fish. Had an original one of these about three, four years ago. Everybody loved it. Everybody wanted it. Nobody wanted to pay for it. Finally sold. It didn't take too long, but uh, quite an expensive record to find an original of. This is Fish's. Farmhouse. Uh, let me see. Mastered for vinyl at Bernie Grumman Mastering. Individually foil stamp numbered. I think I saw online maybe they did 10,000 of these. This is 7252, but it is numbered in foil there on the bottom. From Org Music, ORG. Archie Shep. There's a trumpet in my soul. Presta Palace in Germany, mastered by Dave Gardner. Previously out of print for 30 plus years. All right, move some of these out of the way. Ohio players, ouch. Let's see, Culture Factory, one time rare, one time rare pressing worldwide. Are they announcing that their stuff is rare? That's, that's a weird hype. They're essentially telling you that this record that they're manufacturing is rare. I guess that depends on how many they made, but. Weird. Okay, Faster Pussycat. Between the Valley of the Ultra Pussy. Purple Vinyl. We've got some more Merry and Faithful before the Poison. Clear color of vinyl. Except this is Gold Vinyl. Blood of the nations. I feel like 
Another accept. This is Blind Rage Neon Orange Vinyl. On, both of these were on Nuclear Blast. Chromags, The Age of Quarrel. I feel like most of their catalog just got repressed too over the last couple of weeks. Portugal the Man. This is uh, Chris Black Changed My Life. This is limited edition purple vinyl. I don't know if I showed the purple vinyl this yet, but I know I had one of these the other day. Maybe last week? Last week or the week before. Okay, this is the other record that uh, I'm not sure what's up with the pricing. 10,000 Maniacs, Twice Told Tales, limited edition on white vinyl. This is $13.99 for an LP. This is like, uh, I don't think they've updated this price on this record since, you know, came out 2015. I don't think they've updated at least since 2015, but it's more like, uh, even in 2015, that was more of like a 2002 price. Kurgerbin and Nuba Garcia, live at Radio City Music Hall. Duran Duran, Thanksgiving Alive, the Ultra Chrome Latex and Steel Tour. This is a one disc on crystal clear purple vinyl and one disc on crystal clear yellow vinyl. Let's see, Kesha, Gag Order. Includes, oh my God. The tracks are upside down and backwards. So, you know, if you want to zoom in on that, good luck with that. Oh, so they are on the back as well. So, yeah. All right, Nas. King's Disease 3. Limited edition color vinyl. This is uh, produced by Hit Boy. You know, if that means anything to anybody. And that's uh, the same thing. Color vinyl, I'm assuming uh, black vinyl, color vinyl, doesn't specify the colors. Different color hype sticker though. All right, soundtrack to the Netflix movie Hustle with Adam Sandler. I actually thought this was, uh, I, I like this movie. I like some of his more serious movies. Blues Traveler, what is this? This is live, 1997. Starts with Bud Anyway. I think that's actually, I, I think that was off their first album. I think that's my favorite Blues Traveler track. But let's see, they're doing uh, Bud Anyway, Run Around. Yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, this is a, a repress of Blood Sugar Sex Magic. We've got Little Kim. Hardcore. Pussifer. C is for, please insert, soft work, genitalia reference here, the EP. And Pussifer. V is for vagina. Exclusive vinyl variant. This is blue with black smoke. Now we just need some tool records to be repressed. Not that that's ever gonna happen. It's like the longest running joke in the music business, you know, the vinyl record business. Sly and the Family Stone, fresh, great record. This is the RSD Essential, exclusive only to stores that participate in Record Store Day. This is the 50th anniversary edition on Neon Orange of Vinyl. We've got some more, Merry and Faithful. This is Give My Love to London. All right, we've got some Tangerine Dream. Zeit. One time rare pressing. Culture Factory. All their records are rare. Two LP set. This is kind of cool. Charlie Watts recently passed. Drummer of the Rolling Stones. His first love was jazz drums. I mean, he considered himself a jazz drummer. Kind of had a unique sound to him, and I think that hasn't really been replicated with the replacement drummer. But a lot of that comes, I think he has a little bit more of a jazz swing to him. Uh, this is the Charlie Watts Anthology. Charlie Watts solo jazz recordings. Uh, let's see, includes an essay. 
uh, documented his love for jazz and the time he spent as the drummer for the Rolling Stones. But yeah, this is Charlie Watts' uh, jazz, rec you know, jazz recordings. He has a couple of jazz records, actually, solo jazz records. You can kind of like jazz guy, get you a Charlie Watts record. Stones guy, maybe think you want to get into jazz. I don't know, maybe hear what the Charlie Watts jazz record sounds like. Nico Case, Wild Creatures. This is limited edition colored vinyl. It just says Eco Mix on the barcode, doesn't specify the color. We've got Ghost, Pantomime. What is this? The saxophones, to be a cloud. This is the limited edition green vinyl. Repress of the weekend, House of Balloons. You guys saw a couple of weeks ago, I showed you guys the, uh, what was it? The Mojo Hand from uh, P-Vine. They just did it in the same type of fashion, real thick. Cover, OB. This is uh, the great BB King. Originally on Crown, which I would say Crown more than anybody, more than Chess, you know, Checker, you name it. Crown had the noisiest, crummiest, unlistenable vinyl ever made back in the day. So, uh, they could make this on a nature track and I'd imagine it'd probably still sound better than the original wood of this record. So that might be worth a listen. Japanese house, the Japanese house. In the end, it always does. This is a blue vinyl variant. We've got Frank Zappa, Funky to Nothingness. This is the uh, Lost album from the vault, considered the sequel to Hot Rats. Oh, let's see. Press on 180 gram black vinyl. Vinyl lacquers cut by Chris Bellman at Bernie Grumman Mastering, 2023. They're pretty good about uh, labeling all the Frank Zappa stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man, this is fantastic. We should see this more. Of course, you've heard that from me before. Source, 96K 24-bit WAV file. So cut from a high res file. Pretty cool foil cover on both sides. All right, let's get this. We've got six lakh, six lakh, yeah. Since I have a lover, translucent pink vinyl. That is the number six lack, L-A-C-K for you guys wondering. This would be cis lacks since I have a lover. Okay, Valley, lost in translation. Let's see, Bobby Nelson and Amanda Shrines, loving you. We've got Carol G. Interesting. Ben Howard, uh, the new album. The name of this album is It Is, question mark. Oh no, is it, question mark. A little dyslexic. The Green Book. This is Twisted, limited edition anniversary vinyl. It's got this uh, gold foil embossment there. And let me show you guys the restock from Intervention Records. I've talked about Intervention a lot in the past. Intervention was one of the first audiophile companies to start using the spars code on the back of their record or on the hype sticker for the earlier records. Uh, we got a repress of Gene Clark's White Light. I uh, mentioned this guy, these guys in the Mobile Fidelity video where I kind of told some people some things a year and a half ago. It's a pretty popular video. 
won't get into it now, but 100% analog mastered from real analog tapes. Mastered by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio, 180 gram vinyl, ultra quiet, pressed at RTI, beautifully restored album art. So this is uh, from 2018. So as time went on a little bit, they got a little bit more up front as well. Here we've got 100% analog mastering from the original master tapes by Kevin Gray. This is Billy Squires, Don't Say No. Keep in mind, they now use these types of uh, non-sealable sleeves. This is how they ship with the hype sticker on this sleeve. On the back, you've got the source, the SARS, uh, SARS, the sparse code. This is 100% analog from the original master tapes on the sparse code. Not all of them have that. Like I say, that's something that kind of came a couple years back, but the original ones didn't have it. They still had that on the hype sticker. Like here, this is 100% analog from the half inch safety copy of the original master tapes. Uh, the Flying Burrito Brothers, this is Burrito Deluxe. I think Kevin Gray has mastered every one of those, every one of the Intervention's records. And they're all, I mean, if any of these interest you, these are the same quality. These are essentially highest grade you can get. Stoughton covers, they go back, they redo all the artwork from scratch. They have Kevin Gray master them. Uh, they do a killer job with these. Everything in there, you know, I, I have every record in their, you know, that they've ever done. They really do a fantastic job. Flying Burrito Brothers, this is uh, the self-titled. 100% analog, AAA mastering. Let's see, mastered by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio. Exquisitely restored cover. This has got the bag, the sealable bag, which I'm guessing they moved from because they all used to come this way. Everclear. Sparkle and fade. Now this, I want to say... Master from Kevin Gray, Master by Kevin Gray. Remastered from high res archives from the first time. So the original file on, or the original master on this is a high res. But it's done by Kevin Gray. But you can kind of see, I'll kind of peek it out of that plastic. You know, it's kind of the same presentation as like a Blue Note Tone Poet. They're really well done. I think this is the newest one. Uh, Dillard and Clark. Doug Dillard and uh, Gene Clark. 100% analog mastered from the original master tapes. And on the back here, 100% analog. They've enlarged the size of the sparse code, so you can kind of see the uh, evolution of intervention. And we've got uh, Joe Jackson live in New York. This is a 2LP set. Master from the original high res concert archives. The Church, Starfish, let me see here, 100% analog from the original master tape, 2LP set. Matthew Sweet, Girlfriend, 100% analog, done by, oh, Ryan Smith did this one. I wonder why. Okay, so Kevin Gray cut most of them. Ryan Smith did this, let's see, 15 tracks, plus three bonus demo tracks on this. Sparse code on this as well, mastered from the original master tapes. Once upon a time, they were really, Intervention was doing it, Neil Young was doing it, that was about it. It is nice, we're now seeing it on Analog Productions titles, we're seeing it on Mobile Fidelity titles, uh, the random Frank Zappa title over there. It is nice that it's starting to somewhat catch hold a little bit, it's not, crazy wildfire like it should be, but we're starting to get a little better idea of how the records are being manufactured. All right, guys, check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time.